Marvel's MODOK is the story of a supervillain who loses everything. His evil organization aim. We're bankrupt. Impossible! Uh. Family. I'm just moving out. I'm not dead. To mom you are. He moves into an apartment. Ugh, it smells like soup here. It's basically watching a supervillain hit rock bottom. He's all baggage, <laughs> which of course leads to insane shenanigans and problems. We heard you need funding. Why would, would you think that? Because of your grumble searches. How to save company from bankruptcy, my empire's crumbling, oh god, oh god. We share a family computer. It was probably my son's empire that was crumbling. And then have to rebuild himself from the bottom up. Uh, don't worry, MODOK will fix this. MODOK will save you all. We're under attack. Die for me! The thing that makes Marvel's MODOK stand out from other stop motion shows is the level of technology. We're shooting the show almost like it's a behind the scenes office comedy. They laid us all off. What? These are my people to fire. The camera moves around and kind of grabs focus. It's this whole technique that they've come up with. It adds like an extra boost of life to the show. Excuse me, where the hell do I come in? Your purpose will be ladder. This is some bullshit. My shrinking pills are on a really high shelf. We had an amazing writer's room. The writers that we gathered together uh, and the stories they came up with for this season were pretty fantastic. This filter makes everyone look like puppets. <sighs> Utterly macabre. Some of the challenges of bringing Marvel's MODOK to life are all the moving parts. Everything from working with the puppet department. MODOK is a puppet that is very complicated. He is a very different puppet than we normally make. We can do different hairstyles. Uh-huh. Different faces for him. Love your new bone structure. Why, thank you, Jody. I picked out my cheekbones all by myself. Duplicates. So we're doing about 30 MODOKs. Uh, oh, crap. OK, everyone, pair off with the other versions of you and start checking each other's body. <laughs> There's a lot of sets, a lot of characters. The assault on New York was a colossal failure. You posted current mood, about to attack Wall Street. My favorite set, Asgard. It's built with shampoo bottles and water bottles and just random little items. Bodacious hunks! It's just magical. All right, let's do it. What was it like working with Ben Schwartz? He just pluses everything, and he brings this energy. Hey, Dad! You look hungry. I can have someone bring you some bell jalapeno poppers. How about nachos Thor style, where they smash them up with a hammer? God, my poor dear boy. And see. He really made the character pop. Baruch Hashem. Hello, Kainu. Hello, Kainu. MODOK is one of the most interesting Marvel villains they've ever created. The show has a really fun balance of big, epic, crazy action. <laughs> and a lot of heart and a lot of humanity. Let me fix this. Let me make us like we used to be. It was a blast. No one took the cans out? Come on! Ah,